Hello, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello guys. Can you hear me? Hello guys. Hello, hello, hello guys. Can you hear me? So, guys, everyone, welcome back to another stream. So, today will be okay. View three D. Welcome to stream, bro. Greetings from Ecuador. Welcome to stream. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So we'll be <coughs> creating this working load uh, in Max and Unreal Engine. Okay, so these pillars, uh, lights, and the textures. So everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Hope you guys are fine. So let's do this. I will move this picture. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So I'm gonna start with the pillar, and you guys can export this character from Unreal Engine if you want. Okay, then import it here. So you guys can uh, model the uh, meshes. With this uh, reference, so I will be starting a sorry, creating a box. Okay, 
A for the pillow. And apply this uh, material here. And we can adjust the height. Maybe reduce the width and length a little bit. Okay, then this much. Actually, sorry, actually, pillars height is really low, right? <coughs> uh, for the parking loads, so. I don't need this much height. Is it? Okay, then I will convert this one to editable poly. Okay, I'm gonna add a different material in the center so we need to create extra two segments like in the reference and I'm gonna move it here and I'll select all these faces and change the material to another one okay this and I will save as a copy <coughs> and I'm going to select all these edges okay then we will chamfer it like this guys nice and uh, these thumbnails are only for reference sorry reference uh, i can guarantee uh, uh, guarantee the same results okay it might uh, look so different than the rough uh, origin, original image okay so we have this pillar here and we can say one more time sorry okay we need another pillar i will show you for this uh, ceiling part okay size will be different so I'm gonna duplicate this one then change the material to a white one then we will reduce the size like this okay we don't need all these uh extra edges nice don't forget to like share subscribe uh, maybe we should reduce uh, size from this side and this side. Sorry, 
Okay, we don't need this much height, right? Or we will keep this height. Okay, we have two pillars. Uh, is this tree might be a short one because this parking lot looks so easy because we don't have so many measures, just few pillars and these pipes and the lights, right? Then the floor, okay, it might be a short stream, okay. Keep it like this. Okay. No, we need a floor, right? Or we don't need a floor. Okay, we need a floor actually. Guys, nice. don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So for the floor, I'm gonna create a plane. Yeah, we can we can use this plane for the ceiling and the floor okay for multiple use and you will change the material and i'm going to keep all these segments because we might need to paint the vertex okay like a dirt and everything so i'll be adding extra segments around 44 or 33 Okay, like this, and I will convert the center editable body. Move it here. Now we need the lights, right? Two lights. For that, I am going to create a box. Then change the material and reduce the size a little bit and I will convert the sun to a table body. <laughs> and I will add extra few segments or extra two segments. here and I will select uh, these faces and uh, extrude it like this we might need to Uh, change the depth of this extrusion like this and I will select these faces then reduce the size like this or we can just select sorry select these two edges then chamfer it like this okay can you see symmetry for the other side so matter uh, i'm gonna add a symmetry Flip it and collapse it. Okay, save a copy for now. Now you can create a light, I mean the bulb. For that, I'm gonna use this line from these blinds. Okay, and move it here. 
then enable this in viewport so so we can see and change the material uh, increase the size okay then convert this into editable poly Okay, I'm going to add two extra segments. This bulb. Select all these faces, then invert the selection with the control I. Okay, then change the different uh, or add a different material like this okay select the sun guys don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, then i will select all these edges You can chamfer these edges if you want, like this edge. Like this, you can chamfer this. Or we should continue. So we select these two edges. So, or we will use another way. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. We can weld these vertex if you want. Actually, right? Or wait, we need to. Okay, you can just use the symmetry, right? Yep. Just weld all these. Maybe I should build it to this song. No. It's not the right way, okay? Because we will get some. You can just weld the weld these vertex together. It should be fine, I think. A triangle here, another triangle here. Okay, now we can add a symmetry for other side. 
little X. And I'm going to copy this one, then paste it again. So, other side. Okay, we don't need to do that. Okay. Say we do. Should be in the Y direction, right? Yes. And flip it. Nice. Then we will collapse everything. Okay. Now we have the light here. I am going to add a different material for this plate. Okay. Maybe this one. Okay, three different material for the light. Now I will attach everything and we will try the size. Okay, that is fine, right? Okay, now we can reduce the size if inside on rail engine. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna say copy. Okay, I think that's it right for the mesh. Maybe we can just create a couple of pipes and everything. For this, I'll show you this. The floor, right? Yes, yes. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to the front view and I will select this line. Then I will start from here to here. Okay, hold on shift uh, for the straight lines while using the splines. Okay, then I will move it here. We can enable this in viewport and change the material. And I'm going to select these two vertex and we will use this fillet, increase the thickness here. Can reduce the uh, thickness like this. Okay. <coughs> Should be large. Can still create one more thing in the I will show you this uh, these things in the corners of these pillars. Okay, these you can add a texture or you can add a mesh, okay. You don't need it actually. Maybe we should, I'm going to create a box for that. So here to here. When change the material. Okay, then I will place it here. Okay, now I'm going to convert this one to a table poly. And we'll add extra segment here. And I'm going to extrude this face. Like this. And we'll go to the front view, then reduce the Depth and 
Okay, maybe this much. And move it here. Now I'm going to select this edge. We can chamfer it like this. Okay. And we can move it inside a little bit. Like this. Okay, like this. Reduce the height to here and we'll add a different material like this. Okay. We'll save this as a copy. Now we can start unwrapping the textures, right? Then we will export everything to Unreal Engine. Okay, we will start with this plane. Add this modifier. Then Control A. It's already come with the default UV. You can just relax it. Okay, now for the pillar, I'm going to add this under a PVW modifier, then open the editor and I'm going to select these two faces. Then we'll relax it. We don't need actually these two faces. We will move it here. Then select the rest of the faces. And use the cylindrical projection in the C direction. And check below the seams. Okay. When you see these kind of seams, just come here. Then press this uh, weld selected sub object option. It will be gone. Okay. You can relax it if you want. Then we will pack it. Okay, we will pack it separately. I want to change the size like this. Move it here, okay. Don't need this one actually, so size doesn't matter. Keep it here. Uh, for this pillar, same thing. I'm going to run this modifier. Okay, then select these two faces. Then relax it. Move it to side. Then select the rest of the faces. Okay, then. Cylindrical projection in the C direction. Then relax it, okay?
philosopher you can stream bro no no i don't develop games so you need to you need it we need a team actually to develop some games guys uh, everyone thanks for joining the stream and don't forget to like share and subscribe Oh, sorry, we need to unwrap this one, right? Okay, I'm going to delete the face inside of this mesh. I don't need it. And I will add this modifier. Yes, bro, yes, so we need a team. We can do solo development, it will take some time. Okay, I will. Selectivity faces, then we'll try this flatten mapping. It should not work, I think. Okay, so I will select the, these faces. Like this. Okay, like this. Then in Use this planner map projection. The best with this best align option. Then we will relax it. Okay, for this one we can just relax it and select everything. Pack it. To be fine. Okay, then I will collapse this UV W, sorry UV, then attach with this mesh, I mean the pillar, then I am going to select this mesh, duplicate it, duplicate to the other side, assign element, then we can rotate it. Okay, and I will duplicate one more time. Uh, I'll rotate it. Like this, okay. Okay, so this pillar with the uh, one, two, three different material, right? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm gonna save as a copy. Everyone, thanks for joining the stream. So now I'm going to convert this pipe to editable poly. Then we don't need these faces, so we will delete it and add this UW modifier. Okay, so this plane comes to this uh, default UV, you can just select it, then relax it, should be fine. Okay, when this happens, we can just straighten this UV. Relax it one more time, should be fine. Okay, we can pack it. Okay, just like that. Now for the lights. I'll add this modifier. Okay, I will sorry, I will move everything to the side. 
and select this mesh i mean the verb uh, then or we can just select the this plate first then try this flatten mapping Fine, right maybe accept this so i will select these two spaces then use this cylindrical projection in x direction we can relax it Should be fine. X gamer actually. What are you making? See parking lot, bro. Look at the stream. Actually, please save the stream. This process will be saved automatically. So. Okay, for this verb, you can just select these faces. Okay, then grow the selection by pressing this sun. Then use the cylindrical projection in x direction. Then start legs. Okay. okay here uh, i'm going to select the face then grow it and i'll try this this line option then relax it will be fine okay okay i'm going to use this uv anyway but i will say don't use if you're adding adding a texture instead of color okay then i'm gonna add it just only a color for this mesh so it won't be a problem so if you are adding a texture okay, we don't need this now it should be fine Anyway, if you are adding a texture or, uh, or a picture, uh, don't do this, do in this way, okay? Um, anyway, I am going to use this because I am using just a plain color, so it should be fine. I need to unwrap this one more time. Okay, same for this side. Row selection. Then select everything. It's fine in this side. Okay, think to worry. Then now we can pack it. Okay. So you can just hide these seams. Okay, I'll show you. I'm gonna collapse this UV. Then select this mesh. Then rotate to inside. 
okay and if i add this modifier one more time should be inside right yep it's still in i'm gonna collapse this okay fine i think that's it right you can just export everything to unreal engine so i'm gonna do it guys don't forget to like share and subscribe So I will select this pillar, then need to change the pivot. So nice. Okay, I will export this one to desktop in front of uh, as FBX. Okay, this was done or SM. We love one. Okay. Now for the another pillar, we need to change the pivot, then move it here, and we will export, export selector, and change to pillar 2. The light. And just uh, place the pivot in the center, then move it here. Put export selected, and some light should be fine. And the pipes, right? Same again. Uh, no, no, I need to change. Sorry, place the pivot in the corner. Place it here. Now you can export it. Swipe. Joshua, welcome to stream. What's the stream? I can't read. Okay. Bro, well, it's actually Unreal Engine environment tutorial. I mean, 3ds Max and Unreal Engine environment tutorial. For this parking lot, okay. We are making this. So that's the right. Okay, one more thing. Mm. Export it. Uh, some floor, okay. Okay, that's that is a final mesh, right? I'm gonna save multiple times then open the engine close the max okay i'm going to use the 
this, this project you can create a new project uh, from here right yes go for this blank option or the first person third person top down or the architecture if you want okay Arches. Okay, I'm going to open this test project. Again, everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. We have and the engine okay it's a sort of project okay so create a new level this basic one uh, i'm going to change to save leave what is that save leave okay anyway welcome to stream thanks for the fish bro We will create a new folder in the content folder called parking. And inside it, I uh, will create some another meshes, uh, materials. More textures and maps. Now we will import. Okay, is is right? Is we ref? I can just stream. Thanks for answering your. Yeah, thanks for thanks for answering. So. We will import everything. We have this five meshes, right? Okay, okay, leave everything to default. Okay, just make sure you don't you uncheck this import texture option and this do not create material thing when import. A Okay, save it. I'm gonna place this pillar in here. Then I'm going to save this and uh, sparking. Now we will duplicate this pillar. Okay. And rotate it to 90 degree. Then replace this pillar with another one. Okay like this okay Nedur uh, thanks for the question welcome to the stream okay Nuvit thanks for the question welcome to the stream thanks for the question guys okay we will Place the ceiling in here. I'm going to duplicate this mesh and replace it with the plane and rotate it 
90 degree right like this okay now <clears throat> i'm gonna group okay maybe we need to move this up i know i'm gonna group all these mesh i mean three meshes and then you duplicate okay wait we don't need to group all these I'm gonna select these two meshes and duplicate like this. Just in Rebecca, work in the stream, bro. Just in one, just in one, baking testes or using tileable testes, bro. Not baking testes, okay? Yes, uh, tileable testes. Okay, then we will duplicate it. Maybe a few more time. Into Create sorry, duplicate in this side also. Maybe it's much we don't need. I'm gonna move this uh, plane in here first. Where are the materials you used in 3ds Max? Uh, no. no bro, we don't need to import materials from Max, okay? We can just create inside Unreal Engine. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate these two. And scalability to low. This will be better. Yes, like this. Okay, I'm gonna save everything, and then I will select all. Select all these meshes so we can duplicate to the other side. Group it first and save it, and I will duplicate it here. Okay. Maybe we can just you see the picture. Okay. Okay, I think I missed that subscriber. So anyway, thanks for the question, bro. Look into the stream. Okay, I'm gonna do, uh, duplicate. I mean, 
go for this uh, ceiling then and we will duplicate to this side Okay, we need to close the walls, right? So maybe we can create a couple of pillars on this side. Then we will close this. Parking load. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this plane. Place it here. And we will rotate it to ninety degree. Maybe you should duplicate it more time. Oh, wait. Uh, we'll duplicate it from here. Okay. Okay, don't worry about this height. Doesn't matter. We are just creating the interior part. They were thing then duplicate one more time. Let's sit here if we want, or we can create extra portion like we did here. Uh, did here. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna close here, okay. And I'm going to duplicate this to the other, I mean, this side. And rotate to 180. And Maybe we should replicate the okay. Now I will replicate this one and okay. Actually, we don't have any doors for the entrance, so anyway, I'm not gonna add the doors, okay? Just the interior thing. I forgot to create the doors. That'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna place it here. Um, Okay. Actually, we can create a door in here somewhere. Okay, with a sliding door or something. Okay, anyway, I'm going to close with the walls. Okay. 
Minus everything, change to medium. Okay, we need to add the materials or all the lights will pass through the, all these walls. Okay, now I'm going to create some materials. Okay, we have the textures from our last projects like a concrete and everything. So, last project was our subway, right? Yes, the textures here. Or we can just import a new one, right? And the text is no, not this one. Okay, we can use these text is. I'm gonna select all these. Uh, I mean albedo concrete and roughness to here okay copy here and again welcome to stream thanks in stream bro hello my i'm ready welcome to stream bro <coughs> i'm fine bro it's okay it is just a fever okay nothing else i'm fine now Okay, anyway, thanks for asking, bro. We okay, have the textures here. Now we can just create the material, not the folder. Okay, we need the material. I'm gonna call this base with the C. Okay. We have the old materials here. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to create it. One more time, I will drop it here. Convert to parameter, call it B, and connect to base color. And this normal, convert to parameter, call it 10, connect to normal. Plus, convert to parameter, call it R, and then use m to i mean hold on m for this multiply and hold on s for this roughness value okay then we will connect to b this one to a roughness value will be by default it will be one then connect to roughness hold on u for this code texture coordinates and this one to play and one more scalar parameter for this uv scale value will be one by default <coughs> now we can connect to all this I will apply it. Okay. I'm happy. I think we need to change the material to two sided okay or the lights will be passing through the walls now we can create material instance from the base material concrete okay nothing 
need to create a different color for the material so i will right click and search for this hard light i mean blend hard light and hold on three for this color thing and convert to parameter called c and we will connect it like this Okay. guys everyone thanks for joining the stream don't forget to like share and subscribe okay we have this concrete one i'm gonna duplicate okay this should be concrete one C11 okay and okay, now I'm going to add sorry apply these materials okay to the meshes open the pillar and I will use this and then for the center yes okay you can create a different metal material for the sides later okay here we need to change the color i mean the scale to four Okay, and the color will be default okay. for the another concrete. We need to change the scale to four and then color to some yellow. See this one like this. We need it to change the scale to 6 so this one should be 6 ok, okay for the walls ok you can just use the basic concrete material is on okay, like this okay new right hello bro welcome to the stream can you do our lessons like mini map or change material what Minimap, dimmi minimap. You mean? I don't know. Create how to create the minimap. Okay. Change material. These materials. Okay. Okay. We have this another pillar. Yeah, this concrete one should be fine. And we need to duplicate this pillar and rotate it to ninety so we can place it here remove from group this will be lock lights bleeding in here right okay i think 
Assert two side materials to be fine. Okay, we need to place these pillars here. We are going to uh, group these pillars and we so we can. place it on the another sorry other side group it i'm gonna duplicate this one this and we can just unlock this group and duplicate this pillar and place it here so don't worry about the other side we will be focusing on this side okay now we need to place these pipes in the lights right okay this one okay Shall be be here. Or here, you can place it here. If uh, the door is here, we need to place it here actually. Okay. And we need to unlock this one more time, maybe, and rotate it. We can place the lights and everything.
okay and i'm gonna select all this again and duplicate to the other side like this and maybe one more time maybe a couple of times okay and we will lock this group this and save everything and we will place these slides on here another one oh, here maybe and don't know on here or maybe in the center and in this side and another one there okay oh, in some random locations Okay. Now we need to create some metal materials. Then okay, here new material called metal. Okay, for that I'm going to add this hold this three. Uh, convert to parameter C connect to base color and for the metal hold on is okay for the scalar parameter metal connect to metal and one more scalar and change to rough roughness okay this should be one you can change later and the source will be one uh, color will be black or gray roughness will be point seven okay this four nine to three like this way you can create material sense and can add a noise in the metal sorry roughness okay I'm gonna search for noise textures can see this one by connect to roughness It'll be like this so I need to multiply
okay david uh, thanks for the question bro what can i say okay change the reference value to 7 or 6 the count to the black Victor, welcome to stream, bro. Hello. Little thing, where is it? Okay. I don't need this much uh, reference, so I will change to one. And the color to. Back, guys, hold on. Okay, we are creating this light material. So guys, uh, Sarik and Sagar, right? Thanks for the question, bro. Sorry, guys. Hello, 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 sorry guys. Hello, That was my hello, power hello, problem. Guys. Please wait, it will be. Hello, That was my hello, power problem. Please wait. So again, everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Hope you guys can hear me.
so once we open the unreal engine we will continue where we left what happened i don't know bro some power fluctuation i think suddenly power went off but it's fine now So, okay, we will reopen our project. It will take some seconds or it's opening. Okay. And guys, you can, you can suggest a topic for our next tutorial if you want to see something. Okay. And again, everyone, thanks for the stream. Okay, so it was open minute to come right. No, no. We will parking right okay we are creating <coughs> parking your light create the light right yep okay now we can apply the material To this light instance to this bulb okay and I'm gonna apply the same metal sense to this one so save it And for the floor thing, yeah, this concrete one, right? Uh, how do you play with the lights to make scene more real? You can just play with the settings and everything. Okay, I'll show you anyway. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this concrete and change the color to a bit black and the value should be four okay then i'm gonna apply to this floor okay so Should change the color, or we should okay. We'll do it later. Anyway, no, we need to create. I mean, duplicate this metal one, then change the color to. Yellow and roughness to sorry one and the metal to point three. Okay. 
0.5 so back now we will apply this material to this one you can actually use it texture if you want okay it's some stripe texture or something okay we should do it and i'm gonna do the same thing for this one okay so you don't need this sunlight i'm gonna disable it not sunlight directional light we should change the intensity and the color and we need a post process volume guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay should be in here and change the setting to infinite extent okay or it won't affect the whole scene so i will move it here then change the exposure to point eight maybe then change it to high we need to add some lights right maybe we should change the direction okay i'm going to add this uh, rect light uh, rotate it to 90 then we need to uh, change the floor texture okay doesn't look right and we move here and can change the settings we need to change the floor texture and the attenuation radius and
change the color a little bit. It's some yellow. And I can duplicate. Get it here. Maybe we need to change the radius for that light. And I will replicate this one and change the radius to lower than this one. Shouldn't be a problem, right? In this increase the radius maybe lower for this one and change the intensity for this one to 3 maybe Okay, we need to change the skylight. Um, to this cube map, maybe. Nope. No, 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 not this. I think this is the best. Okay, Hita, welcome to stream. Hello, okay. And Harry, welcome to stream. Shaka, my right, welcome to stream. We don't know. Is this back rooms floor three? What is that? I don't know what is that. Need help rendering a full scene created with the studio. And until yeah, bro, I don't know about this. I mean, I know about the studio, but. I'm not good at the studio okay here we need to change the floor light sorry floor texture see so see this into mark because uh, two lights are uh, not two lights multiple lights are collapsing that's why we are getting this the marks okay should be a problem okay to change the floor texture uh, a smooth one so i'm going to open this I mean floor one the habitable zone what are you talking bro I don't know Okay, you no no no. I'm not making all my materials. I'm using this mixture. Okay, it will take some. Uh, 
but sometime it will take more time to make our own materials i'm gonna find some corn smooth concrete or maybe some tiles for the floor should be nice right or the concrete floor nope you should use this one or wait we can just search online for some congress sorry concrete smooth this one can use this one some stained can use this one I hope we can change the color or we will use another this one maybe okay I will use this one and change the color to some white or some greenish can you should use some white okay i'm gonna export this one without displacement then export as 4k inside this folder and we will import it here okay titled then we can change the we we'll replace the texture with this one roughness okay why it's so shiny maybe can is four or three and the scale will be one that's fine right for one Okay, you need to check the picture. Okay. Actually, the floor is different. I'm going to add a fog.
you increase the intensity of these lights twenty five right twenty four okay twenty four is five don't need this light okay I'm gonna duplicate this one and out here with this light I mean this mesh and we need to Change the intensity to the four. Okay. And just move the slides in here. And let's Oh, okay. we need to add, <coughs> sorry, add the fog, right? I'll delete this one. And I'm going to add a new fog. Michelle Alex, so, sorry. Okay, we need to add this one also, this sphere reflection capture. And if we change the reference back to two, and this one's reference okay. No. We need to add the fog in the visual effects and the exponential fog and can change the density to one and close your eyes. Now I'm going to change to point two and the color to some dark blue or something okay then we need to change the maybe point one is enough and the opacity should be dark. Point zero five. Uh, 
or one no point is zero two Okay, now we need to change the color to something fluoride yep, to match with our frog. Maybe it's some I think we should change this sun back to the Surya, we're gonna stream. Sam, we're gonna stream robot lighting things. And we need to change the MC color to something. This gold or the blue one. should be fine okay we can use the um, this dark blue color for the distant light the close one i mean the gold one i mean the this yellow one for the closest light okay like i'm gonna use this light to it's not blue and I'm gonna list this don't need that light right or we do yes can just place it here and increase the radius if we want and don't yep. can change the color of that light also to blue and this is also blue so this radius should B you should change okay so okay okay now For all these uh, vehicles and everything, I think can find those <coughs> textures inside this uh, mixture, right? I mean, sorry, bridge, tray. Again, everyone, thanks for so joining the stream. 
don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm gonna try this decals maybe you should search for arrow okay can you use this one right left turn arrow okay i'm gonna download it Okay, and this one it will be scans decals yellow left okay next I think if just press it here okay now we can scale this thing down okay We should point to the outside I mean the door right okay I'm gonna place it here maybe you should I should replicate then transform to y direction <coughs> okay like this so we can just move it in here center okay this looks so much better than the source engine is okay i'm trying to make a cisco map but it's so limited compared uh, okay i don't know but anyway uh, i'm gonna try a few more decals this is white line right it's a road line wait maybe we can use it actually i'm looking for some rectangle lines if we can find something okay okay we can use this yellow yes Or we can just uh, use this four three two thing numbers, right? Yep. I'm gonna import maybe four and five. Do we make content for game or just 3D? Uh, I made it actually. I made some contents for uh, marketplace. You can find it. Uh, if I can find it inside and in marketplace. Actually, there is the link in description, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna um, use this one, this fourth thing, material sense can change the color, right? Color only, color only. Maybe you should change to 
yellow it's actually for roads okay not for uh, see the textures uh, not for interior and everything anyway I'm gonna place it here or we can just It's fine from the distance right okay I'm gonna place it five and change the color one is enough right uh, so reset the value okay wait we can just duplicate the color from this one I mean should be this one right and we will paste it here yep or we should copy this one also and paste it here okay it's because of this light okay we need to change the light drop to we find now hmm. think that's it right no more can you use this one so you have so many options for all these decals just download it and you guys can uh, export to Unreal Engine. And if we search for dirt, dirt, dirt. Uh, we have all these vehicles. Or uh, just search for uh, leaks, okay? The leak is, and we will we can download it and place it over the walls. Nice portfolio, okay, bro. Thanks, Sam.
if I add this one to engine and it can place it here then scale it down and rotate it and if we move to here or we can just scale it down then it it And just place it here and you can see right okay you can change the color right okay open it color or lay change to black nice Can we increase the size like this? Okay. Okay. It's like a stretch, right? Or we can just reduce the length. and change the color and density a little bit the color also is for a shade okay just like this Okay, in this floor we can add some roughness to the floor. The another sorry, with another tester, right? Okay. Mm. I'm going to search for it. Uh, different texture maybe in our older project or we can search for roughness map in the content folder this roughness Okay, I'm going to try with this one. Should be. And change the roughness to one. It's my side. And. <coughs> what if I use this one? Okay. It's 
Rasmal Sun is right. Can you say say bit floor or something? Stutton is nice in a key bit. We can actually uh, multiply these two reference map. I mean this one and this one. It will be nice to see. Okay, I'm gonna use this one one more time. Let the uh, see. This is more. You can see the roughness in the floor, right? Yep, you can actually multiply these. And now, uh, for that, I think we need to create a. Yeah, bro, good job. How long does it take to be that? But, uh, uh, no, no idea, bro. Actually, just try, try every time until you get uh, better results. Okay. Yep, this looks more better. Uh, point eight two right. I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay. Uh, I'll use this one and use point A two. And the scale two. What if I use scale one? No, nope. four. I think two is better, right? Okay, we can actually multiply these two textures. I will show you. Okay, I'm gonna do select these two textures and copy in here. Should be okay. These two, right? These two, save it and I'm gonna. Uh, use a different material <coughs> okay and duplicate different sorry this base material then I will uh, import these two roughness maps yes right button then I'm going to multiply hold on I'm okay these two textures and we can see the results by right clicking this multiply thing and we use this chart preview node I hope to show right I don't know Okay, anyway, I will connect this multiply to this one, and then it will be okay. To phase two. So no, he's not good. Not good. We need to take some values, okay? For this one, roughness here. Multiply. 
okay it will take some time to okay and I'm, I'm gonna leave it here okay i'm not gonna use these two textures maybe you can use a lip instead of multiply i'm gonna use uh, tin b this in a and the roughness in alpha don't need this multiply and i will no 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 not in multiply i'm gonna connect directly to roughness and the default roughness value will be 0.4 change to box change to box okay we can create something like this if we want okay it will take some time to get better results but anyway we will be sorry i'm gonna keep it like this okay to mm. use point seven No, point eight is better. <coughs> okay. Maybe we can try to this yeah, exponential four point seven. Oh no, point one. I think two is better. Okay. Now with the this post process volume have the exposure point date. Nice, nice can increase the bloom settings here a little bit okay maybe some no this black corner thing see this one just a little bit okay nice color grading will took into it uh, maybe some ambient occlusion you can see uh, maybe then we no, 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 Color grading. No temperature. I'll add some saturation. Maybe 1.2. 1.3. Maybe 0. Are you okay? And the contrast I'm going to zero six maybe. Or three. Okay, gamma is fine, I think. Or we can 
let's go from point to no no I'm going to zero to okay again no no shadows fine I think no no we don't need to We can add this uh, cube map thing to this daylight. Uh, and on with so okay. Uh, try few cube maps. Clear sky. Nope. Sunset. I think. can just use this daylight thing to the dark color some intensity can as add this motion blur and everything if you want uh, I think that's it right mm, ray tracing I mean to push I don't I don't think if it will take some nope we don't need it okay and this uh, reflection capture right That is it. Keep it here. I think that's it. Maybe you can just increase the MC intensity to twenty two. or 44 no no 22 is enough and Maybe you should add uh, this roughness. Okay, maybe seven is fine. This one is fine. Okay, now I can think that's it, guys. If we change the report to semantic, it will be like this. Okay, I think that's it for today, guys. Okay, mm. that is our parking load. I think I should try some stripes, right? Stripes material.
You can change the this concrete color to to bit. bit darker right and this uh, concrete roughness to uh, this one maybe yep be nice and same for the normal map I think I'm gonna search for this T floor normal map in the content folder floor okay double o. and E floor normal it's this one I'm gonna copy to our uh, main folder copy here and change it in here Change the scale back to two. Wait. Yep. Okay, so that's it for our <coughs> parking lot. Okay, I don't, I don't think we don't need to change the normal map. We can just use the old one. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it like this. Okay, we need to use a different map for our uh, roof. Uh, maybe we should not change the roughness. I'm gonna change to nine two. Okay. With a, with a little bit roughness. Not enough for shining. Okay. Guys, this is our parking lot. Hope you guys liked liked it. So if you want to ask something, you can just comment. Or you guys can suggest a topic for our next tutorial. Anyone? And I want to... Okay, if I play inside this. Very nice. See, you can see this reference in the 
floor right uh, this five things this one actually not for some interior uh floor it's actually for the road okay i mean the asphalt textures and everything anyway you have this nice parking lot i hope you guys liked this tutorial okay so if you want to ask something you can just ask and don't forget to like share and subscribe guys So anyone? Or we can end the stream here. Okay. Uh, okay, like I said, our uh, reference image. Okay, our results. Uh, result is nothing like our reference image. Okay. Like I said, it will be uh, might be different from our reference okay actually this one just for uh, our thumbnail okay you can guarantee about the results okay just like our reference this one actually from real life picture i think yes this one is from a real parking lot actually I was looking for this square uh, decal okay can find it anyway So guys if you want to ask something you can just comment or we can in the stream anyone or uh, you can suggest me topic for our next tutorial actually i'm planning to create a mining tunnel for our next tutorial uh, it will be on Wednesday right yes okay some dark mining tunnel and again on um, thanks for joining the stream everyone Thanks for the 80 likes, 85 likes. So, anyone want to ask something?
ओके ये दिन ओके गई अगेन एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर जॉइन द स्ट्रीम थैंक्स फॉर द सपोर्ट एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड आई थिंक वी शुड क्रॉस सॉरी इन द स्ट्रीम ओके अगेन एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर जॉइन द स्ट्रीम and we will see you on wednesday okay bye bye guys take care see you guys bye bye Empty hearts and neon lights They're playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am flawed And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this old Wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off I am flying